All right, we're here with Ryan Pater. Ryan, congratulations on being named the Atlantic 10 All-Rookie Team this year. Thank you. Now, you worked your way into the starting lineup just in time for conference play. Uh, led the team in batting average this year. Uh, as the season has gone on, has it gotten easier getting out there every day? I know you guys play a lot more games than you did in high school. Is it easier, you know, getting to the ballpark every day? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, in the beginning of the year, I mean, I put a lot of pressure on myself trying to get into the starting lineup and then uh, just trying to play well in general because I... It's a whole new atmosphere compared to high school. You got 54 games. You're out there every day for more than you are in high school. And then as I uh, as the year went on, I got into more of a routine. Got a lot easier. Guys, the upper class made a lot of upper class made it a lot easier for me. And uh, then it just got a lot easier in general. I got focused on what to do, like to do. <laughs> now this week, you guys are competing in the Atlantic 10 Championship, first time in school history. It's your first year on campus. Uh, what does it mean to you and, and your other fellow freshmen to be part of this first team? Oh, I mean, it's a big deal. I'm glad I could be a part of it. I mean, this was a first for a lot of things at St. Joe's. I feel uh, it's an honor to be able to play on the first team to play on the St. Joe's field. And it's an honor to be on this team to be the first team to make the conference tournament. But we're looking to do a lot more than just that. We want to go out there, win it, keep playing as long as possible, and uh, make more history than we've already done. I'm here with first baseman Kevin Taylor. Kevin, senior year, you guys finally reach the Atlantic 10 tournament. You make first team All Atlantic 10. Tell us a little bit about this year, like just in general. How has it been for you? Uh, it's been awesome. Uh, accomplished a lot of things this year that we fell short in the past, and uh, we knew we've always had the talent to do it. But to finally accomplish those things this year is, uh, means a lot. Now the Atlantic 10 All Conference teams are voted on by the league's coaches. Uh, what does it mean to you personally to be recognized by the other coaches in the league as a first teamer? Uh, it's always good to be uh, recognized for your hard work. It uh, means a lot to know that they uh, have some respect for me and uh, hopefully uh, I know it was just good to help my team when uh, guess, get, guess in the tournament this year at least. And you guys are starting playing that tournament tomorrow. Mm -hmm. What's the team's mindset going into the game tomorrow? Uh, we know we, we know what to do. We faced uh, Rhode Island before. We know we can beat them. Uh, we got Preacher going. We, we know he's got a good shot to win the game tomorrow. So we're very confident in the, taking tomorrow and uh, hopefully uh, just rolling right through the tournament. We have Kyle Mullen, Atlantic 10 All-Conference first teamer. Kyle, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, you guys qualify for the A-10s for the first time program history this season. You pitched the clinching game on Friday. You got Atlantic 10 Pitcher of the Week. You know, helped put you on the first team all conference. What was it like when you threw that last pitch and you saw that double play grounder heading out? Uh, there is probably no better feeling than than having Quinn Nacy uh, round that double play up. That was that was something special, and especially that day uh, we had lost the previous day uh, on Thursday, and uh, it was kind of tough because we had to win one of the next two games to make it into conference tournament. And we knew that, and uh, you know it was nice to uh, you know. Do it kind of myself with uh, with help from the offense uh, to uh, to clinch that and, and not have to really worry about it going into game three. Now, you're the first pitcher, first starting pitcher in St. Joseph's history to be named to the Atlantic 10 first team. And as we know, that a lot of family have played here. You got the start in the first game at the new field. It's been a pretty good season yeah. for you. What I, when everything's said and done, you get into the summer, you'll take a look back. What do you think is going to be the biggest thing you've taken from this season? You know, obviously, it's making it into the tournament. Um, for I don't know how many years since then, since St. Joe's has been the A10, they haven't made it to to the tournament. And uh, I was saying before, it's it's just pretty cool to be on a pitching staff that uh, that's for the first team that's made it to the tournament. So definitely, I'll, I'll I'll think take that you know moving forward and looking back on the season, that will be the biggest thing. And and also pitching at the new field, getting the first win at that field, which will probably be you know some the field that's going to be there for a while so it's going to be pretty cool and how my uh, my dad and my two uncles played here so it's kind of just you know a legacy thing that that I'll take with me too